We will now resume, and the question is that Amendment 11546.4 in the name of Liz Smith, which seeks to amend Motion 11546 in the name of Shona Robeson on a fiscal framework review, be agreed, and members should cast their votes now. And the vote is closed. And the result of the vote on amendment number 11546.4 in the name of Liz Smith is yes 31, no 89. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is the amendment 11546.3 in the name of Michael Mara, which seeks to amend motion 11546 in the name of Shona Robeson be agreed. Are we all agreed? No. Yes. Parliament's not agreed. There'll be a division and members should cast their votes now. And the vote is now closed. Point of order, Mark Roscoe. Thank you, Presiding Officer. My vote wouldn't, no, my app wouldn't connect. I would have voted no. Thank you, Mr. Roscoe. I will make sure that is recorded. Point of order, Katie Clark. I would have voted yes. Thank you, Ms. Clark. We'll make sure that is recorded. The result of the vote on amendment number 11546.3 in the name of Michael Mara is yes 25, no 95. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that amendment 11546.2 in the name of Alex Cole Hamilton, which seeks to amend uh, motion 11546 in the name of Shona Robertson, be agreed. Are we all agreed? No. Parliament's not agreed. There'll be a division and members should cast their votes now.
the votes closed. Point of order, Graham Day. Could we have Graham Day's? My, uh, my apologies, President Officer. If my app's not working. I would have voted no. Thank you, Mr. Day. I'll make sure that is recorded. Point, point of order, Bob Doris. Yeah, President Officer, uh, my app wouldn't connect. I would have voted no. Thank you, Mr. Doris. I'll make sure that is recorded. And the result of the vote on Amendment 11546.2 in the name of Alex Cole Hamilton is yes 56, no 64. There were no abstentions. The amendments therefore not agreed. The fourth question is that Amendment 11546.1 in the name of Ash Reagan, which seeks to amend Motion 11546 in the name of Shona Robeson, be agreed. Are we all agreed? No. Parliament's not agreed. There will be a division of members who cast their votes now. And the vote's now closed. And the result of the vote on amendment number 11546.1 in the name of Ash Reagan is yes, 1, no, 119. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that motion 11546 in the name of Shona Robeson uh, on fiscal framework review be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. Parliament's not agreed. There'll be a division of members who cast their votes now. And the vote is now closed. The result of the vote on motion 11546 in the name of Shona Robeson is yes 63, no 56. There was one abstention. The motion is therefore Agreed. I propose to ask a single question on five parliamentary bureau motions. Does any member object? No. The question is therefore that motions 11561 to 11563 on approval of SSIs and 11564 uh, and 11565 on designation of a lead committee uh, in the name of George Adam on behalf of the parliamentary bureau be agreed. Are we all agreed? Those motions are agreed. That concludes decision time and we'll move on to members' business after a short pause and invite members who are leaving the chamber to do so as quickly and quietly as possible.
Thank you. The final item of business is a Members' Business Debate on Motion 11352 in the name of Sue Webber on Charitable Hospice Care to Meet Future Need. This debate will be concluded without any questions being put, and I would ask those members who would wish to speak in the debate to please press the request to speak buttons. And I call on Sue Webber to open the debate. Around seven minutes, please. Thank you, Presiding Officer. And it really is a privilege to be able to bring this debate to Parliament this evening. And uh, not that long ago, back in November, I hosted a roundtable on the Dying in the Margin study from Marie Curie and the University of Glasgow on behalf of my colleague, Miles Briggs. It was heartening to see such strong cross-party support at that meeting, and I'm delighted to see such strong representation from across the chamber today as well. Ahead of this debate, I've been working with Hospice UK, Marie Curie, St Columbus Hospice Care to really understand more about the key issues hospices are facing, in particular uh, the problems surrounding funding. And I want to thank them all for their support in preparing for this debate today. So why are we here? First and foremost, the funding of hospice